Oh, no. 
The king Parikshit said. The king Parikshit says, Harishi go on shit. Harishi go on shit. Yata. Yata. How? How? You all. Yata. Yata. Kill. Kill. Sase. Bhagavata. Bhagavata. By the Supreme Lord. By the Supreme Lord. Beji Jinju. Boma. Boma. Narakasua. The son of Bumi. 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 Translation, King Parikshit said, How was Vomasura, who kidnapped so many women, killed by the Supreme Lord? Please narrate this adventure of Lord Sringa Dan Sringa Danva. There's no purport on the next version, text number two and three. So mm -hmm. Kadeva Goswami said, after Boma had stolen the earrings belonging to Indra's mother, along with Varuna's umbrella and the demigod's playground at the peak of Mandara Mountain, Indra went to Lord Krishna and informed him of these misdeeds. The Lord, taking his wife Satyabhama with him, then rode on Garuda to Pragjotisapur, which was surrounded on all sides by fortifications consisting of hills, un unmanned weapons, water, fire, and wind, and by obstructions of Mura Pasha wire. Rangwinagi 10th. Okay. Mm -hmm. Part four. The Acharyas have explained in various plausible ways why Lord Krishna took his wife Satyabhama with him. Srila Sridhar Swami begins by saying that the Lord wanted to give his adventurous wife a novel experience 
and thus took her to the scene of this extraordinary battle. Also, Lord Krishna had once granted the blessing to Bhumi, the earth goddess, that, that he would not kill her demoniac son without her permission. Since Bhumi is an expansion of Satyabhama, the latter could authorize Krishna to do the needful with the usually with the unusually nasty Bomasura. Finally, Satyabhama had had been had been met. Huh? Finally, Satyabhama had been had been met when Narada Muni brought a celestial parijata flower to, to Queen Rukmini. To pacify Satyabhama, Lord Krishna had promised her, I'll give you a whole tree of these flowers. And thus the Lord scheduled this procurement of a heavenly tree within his itinerary. Even nowadays, devoted husbands take their wives shopping. And thus Lord Krishna took Satyabhama to the heavenly planets to get a heavenly tree, as well as to retrieve the goods Bomasura had stolen and return them to their rightful owners. Srila Vishwanath Chakravati Thakur notes that in the heat of battle, Queen Satyabhama would naturally become anxious for Lord Krishna's safety and pray for the battle to end. Thus she would readily give permission to Krishna to kill the son of her expansion. Boom. Son of her expansion. Boom. <laughs> Acharya 因為觀念是薩拉潘瑪的礦石因此在主的行程上安排了这次获取天堂之树在戰鬥的高潮之中Panchakaupatarupyasya kripa sindhu vaivacha Pachitanam pavan hebyo vaishnavibyo namo namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasari Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. 
Sukadeva Goswami is narrating the pastimes of Lord Krishna to Maharaj Parikshit. So in the previous chapter we heard how Lord Krishna had acquired five more wives in bringing his total number of wives to eight. But then we heard just at the end of the chapter that the Lord also married many, many more ladies who had been princesses kidnapped by Bomashura. So it said, these princesses who had been kidnapped by, Mo, by Bomasura, they numbered as many as 16,000. Now, this person, Boma, who, Bomasura, who had kidnapped them, initially, you know, he's the son of Bumi, so initially he was a devotee. It's mentioned here in the purport that Bumi is an expansion of Satyabhama. So Mother Bumi, the earth, and you, she, she's not, but she's a very good devotee. So you would think her son would also be a nice devotee. It said that the son will have the qualities of the mother, daughter tends to be like the father, but the son has qualities more like the mother. And remember, this child Boma was the, the father was with Lord Varaha. When the earth, when Mother Earth had fallen into the bottom of the Garbadag Ocean, at that time Lord Varaha incarnated to pick up the earth from the bottom of the ocean. So it said at that time Mother Earth, Bumi, was impregnated by Lord Varaha and that she conceived this child Boma. And he was a good devotee as a child. You know, mother brings a child up very nicely. But gradually he grew up and he separated, not so much close to the mother. He got bad association and he became the demon. So association is very important. So this, this demon Bomashura became <laughs> so powerful that he was able to do things like he could steal the earrings from the mother of Indra. Indra's mother means Aditi. Right, so she has some earrings, valuable earrings, which this demon stole. And he also stole Varuna's umbrella. Varuna is the god of the sea, the ocean. And he has his umbrella signifying his royal position. And then he also, the, the demon had also stolen the demigod's playground. Which was at the peak of Mandara Mountain. So Mandara Mountain, you know, the, when you want to enjoy, like when we, this hot season, it's very nice to go to the mountain, right? You go and enjoy the cool weather in the top of the mountain. And 
And we feel so relieved from all the heat in the So the Jebi gods also do like that. They go to Mandara Mountain and Meru Mountain. So, the, so this demon Boma he's stolen, he actually stolen the demigod's playground. So Indra went to Lord Krishna to tell him about this. So Indra he's the king of heaven. So he, you know when he's not able to do he's not able to crush the problem, he has to get help. We have to report to the superiors, right? Something is beyond our power. We go to the superior authority, the higher authority. We ask them. So we So we heard how Lord Krishna immediately he got on the back of Garuda and took his wife Satyabhama with him. So the purport is discussing why would Krishna take such a bama with him? You know, Lord Krishna is going to kill this demon and he's going to accept these other princesses as his wives. Why would he want to take such advantage? So different reasons are given. And one of the reasons was that previously Narada Muni had given a Parijata flower to Rukmini. This Parijata flower has a very powerful fragrance. Yet yesterday we were in the boat fair and one girl came and she said she was attracted by the aroma. Little Mai was burning some oil there and it was making a stick of the So the the girl said she could smell it. She said everywhere she was going, she was smelling, and since she liked it so much, she came to our boat. So this Parijata flower had a very powerful fragrance. And so Rukmini was given this flower, so such a bomb, you know, you give something to one wife, the other wife hasn't got it, you know, that's a problem. <laughs> and so especially such a bomb, you know, she's the daughter of Satya, Satra Jit, you know, oh, Satra Jit, you know, he, he was attached to that Shamantaka jewel, you know, the whole story about Anyway, you know, she's Krishna's wife, so Krishna has to keep her happy. So he told Satyabhama that, don't worry, I'm going to get you a whole tree. And so he took her with him to get that tree from heaven. Because after he killed the demon Boma, then he got the earrings and he wants to bring them to Mother Aditi. So he brought the earrings for Mother Aditi and then he thought at the same time, let's take this Parajata tree now. 
。咁佢就諗到我攞呢個耳環嘅時候咧，我又帶埋呢棵誒誒塔珠塔嘅花。But when he took the Parijara tree, then Indra got angry. He said, "Just a minute! This is our tree. You can't take this tree." Indra gets sometimes he gets bewildered by all these illusions, you know. Indra 有時就係被呢啲咁嘅假象所迷惑。Everything belongs to Lord Krishna. And Krishna was just taking the one, taking the tree. He's going to take it to give to Sanjabama. He's going to take it to Dwarka to plant in Dwarka. But Indra got angry and he began to fight. And there's a big battle between Krishna and Indra. So this uh, again another uh, foolishness on the part of Indra to try to fight the Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna brought the, the the earrings to give back to Mother Aditi. Indra should have been grateful. But because Krishna is taking this Parijata tree, he made a war together. So the material energy is so powerful. We're in the illusion that this is mine, this belongs to me. Yeah, so the illusion, the power of that illusion is much even stronger when you go to the heavenly planet. And if you become Indra, the king of heaven, then it's very powerful. So another reason why he took Satyabhama was that he had, Krishna had somehow given a benediction to Bhumi that he would, he would not kill her son unless she gave permission. 咁另外一個原因點解 Krishna 帶埋呢個妻子咧？就係因為曾經向 Bumi 啊呢個地球女神賜過一個祝福。如果得唔到佢嘅允許，係會殺死佢惡魔兒子。Bumi Bumi knew that her son Tarasco is doing a lot of nonsense. He should be killed. 咁當然 Bumi 知道兒子做咗好多罪行咧，係應該被殺。But you know somehow Krishna given this blessing that he wouldn't kill her son without her permission. 無論點開，佢上俾咗個承諾咧。如果呢個佢母親唔唔俾允許咧，佢唔會殺死佢呢個惡魔兒子。So the rain, so Krishna, that's another reason why Krishna took Satyabama with him. 呢個就係另一個原因，點解 Krishna 帶埋三百公埋一次 ？Because when there will be a battle, Krishna will have a battle with Bhomasura. 咁最後 Krishna 同呢個惡魔 Bhomasura 打仗。Then Satyabama will be worried because Satyabama is witnessing. She'll be worried that oh, say my husband, don't let anything happen to my husband. So in this Satyabama, because she is expand, because Bumi is her expansion, so whatever Satyabama desires, that's not different from Bumi's desire. So actually, Bumi is Satyabama. Satyabama is. Bumi is a Bumi of Kongzin, so there is no difference between the two. So this is the two reasons. 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 But he is being killed by Lord Krishna. So, Lord Krishna is also like the father of this demon. So, Krishna is also like the father of this demon. Because Varaha is the expansion of Lord Krishna. Varaha is one of the avatars. 
Krishna is avatari. He is the Swayam Bhagavan. He is the origin of all the avatars. So, why would the father kill the son? The son is very dear to the father. But you see, because because this person Boma has become a demon because he's against the devotees. Lord Krishna cannot tolerate to see anybody do any harm to his devotees. So even you have to have to be the son of the Lord, still you want the Lord to protect you. So we can see the truth of Krishna's statement that he is equal to everyone. So we see that Krishna's statement renders so this demon Boma, he had not done any service for the Lord. He simply created trouble for his devotees, for the devotees. And he had given so much trouble, he had captured all of these 16,000 young princesses, keeping them all in prison. And, and these girls were all in a helpless condition. So what do we do when we're in a helpless condition? Yeah, we pray, oh Krishna, help me. Right, you know that your husband can't help you. Your children can help you. The only person who can help us is Krishna. So these 16,000 princesses, they were all praying to Krishna, oh Krishna save us. Therefore, Lord Krishna has come and he's going to rescue them from the clutches of this demon. So, Krishna, Krishna comes here and takes care of his devotees. And those who are not devotees, they get the results of their actions. Just like Bhumasura, he can't say, oh look, I'm the son of Bhumi, you know, Bhumi is your devotee, my mother is a good devotee. You shouldn't kill me. Because you're a rascal, because you've done so much nonsense, you have to be killed. So, we can see birth in the good family is not enough. You may be born in the good family, you may be the Brahmana, your father may be high court judge, doesn't mean you're high court. Chaturvanam Maya Shistam Guna Karma Vibhagasha. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Chaturvana, four varnas, Maya Shistam, I created them. Guna karma vibhagasha, according to guna and karma, according to qualities and work. Uh, 
one who is the one who works, but one one is known by the work they do. Just like this Boma, he's known as Boma Sura because he did so many bad things, he gave so much trouble. So the devotee is also known by his behavior. What does he do? What work does he do? We have to look and see what is not only what is his work. But we have to see the, the work, the qualities of his work. So this Boma had just been stealing things from the demigods and doing so much, giving so much trouble. So he's just a demon. There is Daivi Sampad and Asuric Sampad, the different qualities. And so this Boma, although he had a good birth, one of the best parents, but he became degraded. And the result was the Lord, Lord Krishna himself, had to personally come there and kill him. So, this is a very powerful example to show us that birth alone is not an important criterion. And so Boma uh, he is we're going to hear how the Lord uh, deals with him. It also shows the great man of God. This one is the story. It shows the great man of God is equal in everyone. It's a very good example. So this demon woman has described how he was living in this place, Prabjotishpur. <coughs> Surrounded on all sides by fortifications consisting of hills. And then there were weapons of water, fire, and wind. And what is Mura Pasha wire? So a special type of wire there surrounding, protecting the demon in his kingdom. So you can understand the demon was uh, trying to protect himself, trying to make himself very safe and secure. So this is, uh, again, this is demonic nature that they be trying to make so many arrangements to protect ourselves. Just like, just like Karani Kashipu trying to get so many benedictions from Brahma. He tried to use material means to prolong their life. Just like Narayana Kashipu is taking benedictions. I shouldn't die in this situation. I shouldn't die in that situation. So, 
And we see also here this demon Boma that so many arrangements to protect him from his enemies. Different weapons, all kinds of arrangements to protect the enemy. Just like when you come to visit a country, you see you have so many arrangements. You have to come through the immigration. Prabhupada compared the immigration officers to barking dogs. Barking dogs. Just like when you go to somebody's, when you go to visit some rich man, you see they have some big dog or something. <laughs> and you go to the door and the dog will immediately start barking. And they're saying, why, the dog is saying, why are you coming here? <laughs> the dog is saying, what do you want? I'm here, why do you come here? Go away. So similarly, immigration officers, they like that. Why have you come here? How many days you will stay? <laughs> How much money did you bring? <laughs> so, so many. <laughs> So, so this is a, this, again, this is a, the demonic nature. We are thinking, this is my country. Why are you coming here? You have no right to come here. So this demon Boma, he had this palace, this kingdom, this fortifications, this arrangement to protect him from his enemies. But we will see, nothing can protect him from Lord Krishna. Okay, any questions? Comments? No. Any questions? No. Any question mean for Hare Krishna? Sometimes any rejection from devotee to towards each other. So this is like demonic nature. Rejection? Not welcome from this way. Like. Like. Oh. This way. Like. Huh? Yeah, if you go to some temple and they say, why do you come here? We want to see more people come. So arrangements of reception are discussed again and again in Srimad And Prabhupada always when I when I joined the movement, one of the first things we learned was about how to receive people that we should we should uh, you know uh, give them prasada. We're supposed to be prasadam available when people come. 
So somebody comes, then some guests come, you know, and you're busy doing all of these things, you can't really take care of So some of the other people should be there to try to help to make the range. Reasonable in what we expect from people. Don't put too much pressure on. Don't try to demand too much. Yeah, even in uh, wicked time, even the enemy come, the decision lies here. This is a very high point. 喺偉大嘅時代，即使係敵人嚟到呢，就係好歡迎咁接待呢個係好難得嘅品質。Yeah, so we have to be practical and we have to be reasonable. Do what we can. We have a good attitude, people get in. This is my point. All right. Question in regards to Boma Sura. Ah. That one should not become a father unless he make a person a devotee. Here we have the Son of God and and God to become a being. Would you comment on that? Yeah, I'll comment. But everyone's got free will. The father does the best. But ultimately, it's up to the individual. Of course, the father is the 
遺傳或者咩咧，但係嗰個本人咧係要承擔更多，當然也會受父親影響。So for some time, Roma, Roma was in the working. In the beginning, he was like he was. You see, the Roma, this old boy, first, first, was a very good leader. But when he grew up, somehow he got involved in that association, and he became sinful. But when he grew up, somehow he got involved in that association, and he became sinful. But when he grew up, somehow he got involved in that association, and he became sinful. But when he grew up, somehow he got involved in that association, and he became sinful. But when he grew up, somehow he got involved in that association, and he became sinful. But when he grew up, somehow he got involved in that association, and he became sinful. But when he grew up, somehow he got involved in that association, and he became sinful. But when he grew up, somehow he got involved in that association, and he became sinful. But when he grew up, When the birds are small birds are young, the parents will take care of them and feed them. But the birds also grow up, and then they have to they have to go and feed. 當年咧嘅時候，當年父母好好咁照顧啦，餵佢啦，養佢啦。但係當佢成長時候，你照唔照顧到佢一切咧？唔一定。So everyone has their final in the end. Everyone has their own free will. 所以每個人都要承擔佢自己嘅後果咧，係按照佢自由嘅意願。Do what you can to make your children the bodies, but ultimately the children they have to help, they have to want to become the bodies. 咁我哋當然會幫，希望幫助兒女成長咧，但係都係要本人點樣去刻意願望成為好嘅奉獻者先可以。Can't force them. 唔可以強逼嘅。Right. Well, even Prabhupada's own children, you know, they have some interests. <laughs> Become a good devotee because of the father. So your father has to be responsible for all your activity. <laughs> my father is not God. My father is not God. Yeah. He's very strong minded from his father. <laughs> very impressed. It's also the point you mentioned. The father should not too control.